check, check, check. Whoa, loud, loud, yes, loud. Yes, very loud. Are you loud? Yeah, very I'm loud. I'm loud to you, sorry. Let me just adjust this. Okay. So when it says avionics test, that was just simply put this on, put this on. Ultimate. Let me see, check, check, okay. check, check, check. Okay. There we go. Really loud. That was really loud, yeah. <laughs> Pull your ears off. All right. Transponder. Not on standby, but is that okay? Uh, it's fine because yeah. the only time that's really a problem is if you're at a towered airport, they may ask you to put it on standby. But here, out is fine. Yeah, got it. Okay. Um, ATIS AWOC, which is the weather. Yep. Already got altimeter set. We are at 603, correct? Correct. That is just right about six, 600. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, lights as required. Taxi lights are on. Yep. Landing lights are off. Okay. We don't need that on, I don't believe. Test the brakes. All right. So I will test the brakes first. I have the controls. Your flight controls. Then finish my flight controls. My flight controls. All right. So your brakes work? All right. Your flight controls. My flight controls. You have the controls. All right. So what I do is I usually just let it go a little ways, then bring it to idle, tap my brakes. Both my brakes work. All right. Your flight controls. Okay. My flight controls. Attitude indicator test. This looks good. Okay. Turn coordinator test. So, looks. so let's line this all up, and then what it's saying here, right here during your taxi, is you're going to actually test these, okay? Oh, during your taxi, you're going to test the attitude, correct. turn, and heading. Yep, so let's line it all up first. Make sure it's all correct. You mean this? Yeah, line it, yep. So we, we're at 6.03. Yep. Reading zero, blue is over brown. Yep. Reading zero, and then line this up with your magnetic compass, which is right here. Yep, which is about 135. Just short of 140. Yeah, about 139. So that's 130, 140. Yeah, pretty close right around right there. there. Yep. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test those. So watch our attitude indicator. So this cannot move more than 5 degrees when we turn, right? Because okay. we're level. It can't move more than 5 degrees. Your turn coordinator is going to bank in the direction of the turn, the ball is going to move to the outside, and your HSI and compass, you want to make sure that both this and your compass are swinging in the direction of the turn. So when we turn right here, we're going to do those three things, okay? Okay. All right, so clear left, clear right, clear straight. Clear Open left. Close up. Clear, clear right. Controls. Clear straight, my controls. All right, we're going to taxi. All right. Alright, we turn right here, move in a direction, ball is going to the outside, it's no more ball than 5 degrees, reading 0, and both these are swinging in direction of the turn. Yes, they are. Alright, and we're going to go right down that way, down this taxiway. Okay. What is that? That would be a woodchuck. Woodchuck. Wow. That's crazy. There it goes. <laughs> crazy. Right on the runway. Right? Wow. Go around, go around. Yeah. Right. Yep, we're just always double checking no, the wing sock. The magnetic compass right now shows about 3-3, three, three, and I'm at about 3-2, three, 3-1 three, on the heading. Is that a big difference? Yep, so we'll... Once uh, we get down there. Yeah, once we get up to the run-up checklist, we'll yeah. correct it all up again. All right. Windsock looks like it's pretty calm. Yep. Got a bird on the top of it. <laughs> A little fast. Yeah, so a good rule of thumb, like you can see on your ground speed. Yeah, about 10 you about said is max? Yeah, about 10. Okay. All right, then always stop so you can always still see the whole short bar. If you can't see it because of your nose, it, you're too close. That's right. Okay, I remember that from last time. Yep. Got it here? Yep. All right. All right, so I am break. 
Yeah, so bring it up to about a thousand. Yes. Holding it back. Yep. All right, so are we on the run up before, before takeoff? Take yep. Parking brake set. So our feet are set. Yep. Flight controls, free and correct. All right. So I'm going to turn left. Left, left up, right down. Left up. Right down. Right down. Right up, left down. Right up. And left is down. Yep. All right. Elevator. Elevator up and down. Yep. And clear. And the rudder. Perfect. Rudder looks good. All right, good. Flight controls look great. Fuel valve. It is on. Okay. Takeoffs. This trim needs to be set for takeoff. It goes it right does. below, right? Yep. Just uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit low, man. Yeah, it was. Right yep. about there. Yep. Okay. Mixture. Best power. Rich. We will do rich. We're yep. going to throttle up to 1700. And we're going to do a magnetos check. We're okay. looking for an RPM drop. So, one. Drop. Yep. Back on full. Check the right magneto. And a drop of no more than, I believe, 150. Correct. And, yep, and they have to match within 75 on the bottom. Got it. Okay. Yep. Uh, carb heat test. So we're looking for an RPM drop as well here. Yep. Heard the RPM drop. That looked good. Engine instruments. The ammeter. Check. All right. We're getting good suction. The ammeter's down there. So it's showing about zero. Oh, there we go. Missed a switch. There we go. Now we're charging. Good. Unbelievable. Uh, good catch. And uh, let's see. That's the suction gauge we looked at. Idle. Check. So I pull this all the way back. Yep. Pull make it all the way back. And make the sure carb it keeps heat. running. And pull the carb heat. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Carb heat back in. And back to a thousand. To a thousand. Yep. All right. Uh, idle friction. Is that this thing? Or throttle friction, I mean. Yep, that is. Yep. Does it okay. feel like it's good? Yep, feels good, like it's not going to work its way back. Doors and windows closed and locked. Yep. All right. Strobe landing lights as required. Transponder on altitude. Here. 1200, good. 1200. Time, record, which we did. Uh, we'll record it right prior to takeoff. That oh, okay. I was thinking it meant the hot, the. Oh, I see. We take. When no. we take off. Just Got for it. just for you know uh, fuel calculations. That way we know when we took off, how much fuel range we have. Uh, okay. All right. And do we just write that down? Yep. We'll write that. And down. then uh, brakes release. That we test the brakes once once more. Uh, no, that's no, just, just saying so when you're at the end of the runway, you're going to release the brakes and go. Okay. Yep. So normal. All right. Then we'll do the normal takeoff once we're down there. Uh, let's do it right now. Just get all set up. Right oh, right okay. Now. Flaps up. They are up. Carb heat is off. Mixture is best rate. Or best power. Yep. Power, we'll do full throttle, and then we rotate at 50 and climb at 72. Okay. All right. Yep. And then, yep, that's exactly what I have. 75, 70, yeah, about there. Okay. That's from the POH. Is this good right here? That's good right there. Okay. Um, and then right before here, we're just going to do our, our, our captain's brief, we call this. Okay. And this is just uh, in the event of an engine failure on takeoff. If there's runway remaining, you're going to land on the runway. Okay. Stop straight ahead. If you are below 1,000 feet, AGL before, below traffic pattern altitude, don't turn back for the runway. Yes. You, you aim straight, maybe soft banking angles straight ahead, okay. avoiding obstacles. Uh huh. And if you're above 1,000 feet, altitude permitting, returning to land to the runway. So you're going to do a shallow bank coming back, and you're probably going to end up, you know, landing back on 3-2. Three, three mm-hmm. But at least you can make the runway again at about 1,000 feet AGL. Okay. So just in the back of your mind. Okay. All good right. Good to know. All right. Yep. Make your radio call, All and right. then we'll check the area. Sounds good. Riverview Cessna 18 Golf. Back taxi runway 14 Riverview. Awesome. All right. Clear left, clear right. Clear straight. No one on the runway. Let's do it. Beautiful day. I love this. Oh, yeah. This is great. You were right on. You said Thursday morning looks like it's going to be a beautiful day for flying. Uh, all day today, really. Oh, yeah. Did you meet back up with Tristan? Is that it? Uh, or, uh, talk to him, at least, I mean? I did. Um, he's planning on it in a couple weeks. He's still got school right now. Oh, okay. <laughs>
I think that's so funny, I've actually met him before. Nice guy. Yeah, very nice. Alright, we'll do normal takeoff. It's a long way down here. Yeah, down it is. Runway. That's good. Yep, give it a lot of runway. This runway is only about 50 feet wide. Yeah. Saw, and it's about 3,900 long, I believe. Yep. What about the display threshold for 3-2? I don't, I should know that off the top of my head, but I don't know that. About 1,200 feet less. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Oh. Yeah, M NW Craft, know, know your runways. Yep, NW Craft, that's right. <laughs> Look at that water, that is high. I know, it's, I am hoping it's not going to come up to the runway someday. I know, we don't need any of that. No. You tell me again what the uh, what we're gonna work on today when we get up. It's um, um slow, kind of some slow flight and. Uh, well, first we're just gonna do we're gonna you know go back up to the area to the north. Yep. But then we're gonna go we're gonna do some medium bank turns. Then we're gonna do some steep turns. Okay. Um, and then yeah we'll do some slow flight power off power on stalls. Perfect. Then we'll come back and do a few traffic patterns. You want to do a traffic pattern to start, or it's up to you. I say we wait. I say we'll let's wait. Yep. Let's yeah. do this. Let's do the maneuvers. Go out, do something, then come back. That sounds good. All right. We're clearing uh, downwind base and final. Making sure we're not seeing nobody. Yep. I don't see anybody. All right. Use up as much as I can here. Yep. Get all the way to the end. Yep. Yep, line up with center line. Oh. Am I not moving? Give it a little bit more. Maybe a little less there break. We go. Yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> right? The best turn, but... It's all right. I'll try to straighten it out here a little bit. Okay, we're lined up. We're on runway 14, just like we planned. All right, should I call? Yep. All right. Riverview Cessna 18 Golf. Departing runway 14 to the north, Riverview. All right. So we're going to do, note the time, 8.45. Note the time, 45. And we're doing our lights camera action. We got our lights as we need them. We're going to put our landing light on for more visibility. Yep. Lights camera, this is your camera. You're on L1200. Lights camera. And action. So action. you're going to go 2,000 RPM. As you're rolling down, just bring it to 2,000. Everything sounds good. Everything's in the green. Then full power. Okay. All right, 2,000. Everything sounds good. Full power. Yep. Center line. Your speed's alive. There's 50. Start slowly pulling up. Once we're over 900 feet, we can uh, you can go to more of a cruise climb, about 80, 85. Uh, so can you repeat that, please? So we're at 900 feet, so you can be at about 80, 85 for your cruise climb. You don't have to be so aggressive at 73. Oh, okay. Because we're clear of all obstacles. All right.
We climb to about 1300. Yep, and then we'll make a crosswind. Right. To the west. Yep, to the left. Left traffic pattern. All right, right now? Yep. All right. Do we make a call right now, or do we only do that when we're in the pattern? Like when we're actually landing? Uh, <laughs> You can make it. I mean, it's a. You I just say, didn't know what the. Yeah, you can say left crosswind because we're going to be doing a left downwind departure to okay. the north. So just left crosswind. Yeah. Riverview Cessna 18 Golf, turning left crosswind. Riverview. One four. Oh. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> There's a lot. So then I'm still just climbing on up. Yep. So we can actually. If you look back at the runway, we're still kind of in a upwind right now, right? Because we got drifted a little bit. Yeah, we sure did. Yep. Okay. So let's head back this way. Yep. Make it a nice square pattern. And we're going to continue the climb. Let's see here. I don't want to get... We can't go above 2,000 yet. So let's let's level off here at about 17. I don't okay. want to get into Class Charlie at all. I understand. Okay. And now let's get the downwind. Yep. Okay. And once we're clear of that, then I say we start our climb. So we'll go up, uh, let's go up to 4,500. 4,500. Yep. Cool, so now we're headed away from the climb. Charlie, so now let's, uh, let's climb up. Sure thing. Yeah, climb Use right in the downwind, yep. You could even make a radio call that you're in the left downwind, 1 4, departure to the north. Riverview Cessna 1 8 Golf, turning left downwind, runway 1 4, Riverview. Yep. To the north departure. To the north departure, runway 1 4, Riverview. Perfect. It is just so calm up today, just beautiful. Yeah. You got that uh, Fisk Lake, I think is what it's called. Uh, actually, here. you know what? It's Fennessy. Fennessy Lake, yeah. okay. Yeah, and I used to live right on the other side of it, so... Oh. I, I thought cool. of that the other day when I got home after we were, uh, when we were done, I looked at the map, I'm like, oh, that was Fennessy Lake. Fennessy yeah. Lake, yeah, I didn't know what it was called. Yep, that's it. Yep. All so you used right. to live somewhere over there? I used to live right on the... Do you know where, like, Molker's Orchards is and uh, Covenant Christian High School? I do. Yep, yep. I lived right in that neighborhood. Okay, yeah. I know right where that is. Now, on this up here, this is my first time I'm looking at it. Traffic, 11 o'clock, 1 nautical mile, eight feet, 800 feet ahead. Right there. Whoa. That's a jet coming in on approach. That's why we're staying... Because he's coming in, he's talking to Grand Rapids. Wow. That is really amazing that it showed me that, right? Yep. Okay. We're we're doing everything right, though. We were okay being here? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. All right. No, I had him on here. I didn't say anything because I didn't quite see him yet, but I had him on here, and I knew he was coming right here. But that's why, I mean, we're in class Echo, right? It's it's controlled airspace, but you don't have to talk to anyone. But he's with Grand Rapids, Steve, because that's why, that's why they keep us low right there is because... Yep. He's coming in on approach probably for 2-6 left. Correct. Do you trim during your climb? Uh, I do, yes. Okay. And that's actually the same jet I seen yesterday. He was up at Ludington. Really? Yep, because I remember that tail number, 501 Kilo Tango. <laughs> yeah, it's a Learjet. It's crazy. Yeah, Learjet 45, I think he was. I was up at Ludington yesterday, and uh, do you fly up there? I did. Yeah. Oh, cool! In in the uh, Piper. Uh, I my uncle actually owns a Piper too, so I was in that oh. one just flying that one. That's awesome. Me and my cousin went up for a nice little little flight up there. Oh, how fun! Yep. Yeah, he he had a flight plan. He went from Ludington to Muskegon, and it had like a, I think it was like 16 minute flight or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yep, so we said we were going to do a north departure, so let's head to the north now. We're out of the downwind.
It is perfect out Isn't here. Isn't it though? Man. Couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah, we got one other guy over by Sparta Airport. Looks like two. Okay. I like you have the chart as your background, basically. Yeah, you can switch that yep. to yours, too. I'm still learning all about what to do with that thing, so. It's just nice, because then you can see the towers as well, you know, yeah. the different heights and stuff. Yep, prominent landmarks are. Climb at about 500 feet per minute, is that correct? Well, uh, cruise climb, so 80, 85 usually. We're just trying to get a little bit more airflow to the engine so it's not working so hard at low airspeed. Okay. So that's why you do a cruise climb. Okay. So we're doing good? Yep, we're doing great. Yep, great. keep on the north heading. Yep, keep on the north heading. I just saw that. Uh, no, you're good. Yep. Yep, there's uh, I-96, so we know we're, we're getting towards the practice area. Okay, and then let's set up, let's, what do we do? You want to do 3,500 3, feet? Nope, 4,000. Four, okay, I just saw it coming around, I thought. Because for maneuvers, I mean, technically this is probably fine, but we might as well go up a little bit more. Okay. It's smooth out today. The, the higher you go, the smoother it usually gets. Great. Um, but yeah, for, for any maneuvers, especially for like power on, power off, or steep turns, you got to be uh, 1,500 AGL. You got to be able to recover by that. Sure. So, plus, you know, say it's 800 around here, river is in a kind of a bowl. It's about 800, but 2300, you have to be above. Yeah. Okay. So, 4500, we're definitely clear. Perfect. Then uh, I'll have you cruise it out at uh, 45,000 or 4,500. 4,500. Yep. Just keep heading north. Yep. All right. Take you to get to Ludington yesterday? Uh, we had a crazy uh, tailwind on the way there, so it was like an hour and a half. Well, it was probably like an hour ten there. Okay. And maybe hour and a half back. All right. But that was all the way. It's from Hastings, so. Oh, I was gonna say that's. I mean it. I mean we were moving. You know, hundred knots maybe. Mm -hmm. It was bumpy yesterday though. It was not like this. Really? Oh man. It was so. It was all the wind, huh? Yeah, it was bumpy. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. All right. Obviously, I'm looking at these clouds, making sure I don't fly into those. Yep. And, we, and I think 4,500 will put us right below them. Yep. We got to stay 500, 500 feet below. below. Yep. And we are definitely there. I mean, we're probably close to 500, but we're definitely we're not there. Okay. All right, I'm approaching 4,500. Okay. I'll level us off here. Okay. Let me do. A, let me see a cruise checklist. Cruise checklist. Oh, well we're back climbing, so hold up. All right. Power it says page 18 cruise performance, which I think is 2400. Yep. Go to 24.
out there. Okay. Tr trim adjust. Okay. So not really applying much pressure. Does it feel pretty good? Feels pretty good. Okay. I know it's real sensitive, so yep. That feels good. Mixture as required. Do you lean it out at all up here? Yep. Remind me again how to do that so I don't screw this up, because I've never done that before. Do I just turn this? Yeah, I would twist it, yep. And then keep twisting it, and once you see an RPM drop, push it back in just a little, you know, twist it back in just a little bit. So keep going, keep going. Yep, keep going. The quarter turn back in once it starts to drop. I'm really turning it a lot. It's because we're up here. Close right here. Oh, don't go fast. Don't go fast. That's pretty good because we are well leaned right here. Look at that. Yeah. Is that too much? Uh, no, it's good. You okay. Know, I'm watching. I'm making sure that our oil temp doesn't go up too high. Yeah. But that's right where it is. But th that shows you because it's cold today and we're up at altitude. Look yeah. how much fuel we're saving now. Exactly. Yep. All right. And then instruments check. Yep, so make sure that uh, yep. reading, this looks around, good. looks good. This is pointing directly north, so I can... Yep, so it precessed a little bit. Yep. Uh, vertical speed indicator, not really climbing or descending, which is good. We want to cruise. Yeah, this is off just a little bit too. Oh yeah, that needs to be... We usually don't want to mess with that too much, but I, I can see that we're level. Yeah. And it's not, so... And then I did the heading indicator to compass set. Okay, perfect. So we are in our cruise checklist now, right? Cruise checklist, yep. All right, so let's do, um, let's go and do some steep turns. Okay. So what's the first thing that you want to do now for steep turns? First thing we need to do is uh, clearing turns? Correct. Yep. And those are 90 degrees to the left and then 90 degrees to the right? Yep, or you can do a 180. So let's, because we're getting a little bit north, let's do a 180 back to the south. All right. And it's just a standard bank turn. Standard bank turn. Yep, 180 degrees. So we're clearing for traffic, looking. How's that turn feel? Is that pretty good? That's good. Yeah. All right. See how you're nice and coordinated? Yep. Right in the middle there. I go one eight zero. Maintaining my altitude. Make sure to pay attention to that. Oh, you're staying right there at 4,500. That's good. Yep. There's a VOR right over here, looks like. There is, but I, I think that one got decommissioned. I'm oh, okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it did. All right, so we're on a south heading. The area is clear. The area is clear. All right, so crack, so it's clearing turns, our reference point, south heading, and we got this nice, really straight road. That's the beauty of going south, is we got nice Perfect. roads. Airspeed is 100, just where you want it. Okay. And configuration. Reference point. Airspeed. And okay. configuration is clean, so this is where you're going to go mixture rich and uh, flaps clean. Okay. So we're going to do a richer mix. Okay. Yep. So mixture is rich. Yep. Mixture is rich. All right. We don't have a fuel pump, so we don't worry about that. But a fuel pump would be on if you were in a different, if you were in the Warrior or something. Okay. So. Now that we're, we've done our crack, we can start our uh, steep turns. All right. Do you want to do a 30 degree bank one to start out? And yep. Okay. Let's do a 30 degree bank, and I'll do it to left and right. Left. Do a full 30 degree bank circle to the left, and then we'll do one to the right. Yep. All right. A yep. little bit of rudder in there, just a little bit to start the turn. Once you're in it, you don't need any rudder. There you right go. Right around there. Yep. 
Get your, yeah, so we'll get your horizon back up just a little bit. I go a little bit more. Yep, you can feel it. Yep. See how that's level right there? Yep. We're just sending just a tad right now. Yep, drag it right across that horizon. A little bit short of losing my altitude a little bit, but got to get used to it. Yep. All right, half your bank right. angle. Yep. There you go, right on south heading. Perfect. Uh, lost a little bit of altitude, though. It's all right. Climb back up a little. Yeah, reset. Reset. Actually... Stay right, yeah, we'll stay right here. Okay. This is 4,500, so. Yep. All right. All right. I got my reference point. I'm going to do a 30-degree bank to the right. To the right, yep. Dialed right in. I look good. Oh yeah, keep it, keep that horizon right on just how you're doing. So pull it up just a little bit. See how that feels level right there? Yep. Wow, it's perfect out here. It is. your own wake right there. Oh. <laughs> is that what that was? Yeah, right? that's how calm it is. Back on the south heading and then you would perform a cruise checklist at the end. So you'd just bring your mixture or you know you'd go back to 2300 or 2400 okay and lean your mixture out and check all your instruments. Yep. Power, adjust the mixture. Yep. Power's a little low, right? 24. Yep. Right about there. Okay. Quarter turn. 4,500. South. South. Looks good. Going about 90. Attitude looks pretty good too. Okay. Cool. So then you're all cruised out again. All cruised out again. All right. So now let's do let's do 45 degree bank. 45. All right. 45 degree bank. So let's do so clearing turns. We'll say are done already. But okay. you would do a new set of clearing turns. You know. If you had, uh, you know, cruised out already. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'll have you do another set of clearing turns. So you're gonna you practice how you do it. Another set of clearing turns. All right. So another set. So that's just a. Uh, yep. So we're gonna redo crack, and then you know, for a whole new maneuver, and then. Uh, what, what, what were you saying? Redo what? Crack. The that's the acronym C R A C. Okay. So we're gonna the clearing turn. Yep. That's just 90 degrees. Uh, left and right. Yep. Basically, I had like east and then back. Yep. And you're just clearing, making sure yep. that the area is clear. I'm checking my way. You're checking your way. Looks good. Okay. And then back over. Yep. All right. Then back to the south, right? Yep. All right. Do you technically do a clearing turn either way, so I could have headed to the west and then the south again? Yep, it's just 290 degrees. Okay. I right, see our nice road here. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so those are our clearing turns. Our reference point's the road. Yep. And we have a south yeah, heading as well. South heading. And then the A. Airspeed. Airspeed. 100. 100. 
Looks good. Uh, and the last C is configuration. Configuration. Uh, we're now configuration. Ah. Yeah, last, uh, last C is configuration, so we're making sure that our mixture is rich and our flaps are clean. Okay, they're up. Okay. And we're ready. All right. Do it to the left first. Yep. All right. Let's go to the left. We'll do a 45 degree. All right. Add a slight RPM in the turn in the beginning. 45 is right between the 30 and the... Yep. And hold oh. it up right about there like that. There you go. Yep. There you go. Beautiful, yep. At two speed. Do you feel like you're getting a little fast? Oh yeah. Yep, so pull it just a little uh, bit. Yep. Almost overshot it completely. You're good. All right. Yep. Reset. We lost a lot of. Not bad. Two hundred. Man. Not bad. Yep. And we just reset again. We get back to our altitude before we go do it again. Okay. Airspeed looks good. All right, I'm going to do 45 to the right. Yep. Okay. And it looks slightly different on the cowling. Yep. So watch. There we go. Right about, about like that. Okay. See how that feels right there? Get that sight picture. About like that. You gotta really look out the window and get that picture. You see that? You see, look at your altitude. You're not moving at all. That's good. A yep. little bit up, a little bit up, right there. Yep, not too steep, right there. Pull up just a little bit. We're getting a little fast. Here's a solid. And then we cruise it out again. That was good. Okay. Thank you. Yep, so cruise would be about 2400 RPM. Do your mixture and then check your flight instruments. And you're good. Does that feel good? Yeah. Yeah, it looked For good. Sure. Yeah, that looked good. Yeah, it's, you gotta, it's you a, get visual. a visual out here, but you got, I, I'm looking at this to see what a 45 feels like yep, that just I'm on a, one. Just it's it's developing a scan is what it's yes. doing. Yep. Yep. For sure. A little bit off south here. Okay, so we're gonna go into slow flight. Okay. So let's go back. We'll do. Uh, we're gonna do. You know, clearing turns. We're gonna go back to the north. Okay. And we're gonna do some slow flight. Have you ever done slow flight before? Uh, I we did once. Yep. Maybe okay. twice. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's do it. That's an important thing to work on. Yep, because then we're going to go right into a power off stall after that. All right. Turn to the north. Yep, so we're going to do our clearing turn, right? Okay. Just 90 and then back to the south? Uh, let's go to the north, actually. Oh, north, right, okay. I just like staying away from those towers south or oh. Riverview by Grand Valley. Yep. I just like staying out kind of in this sure. no man's land oh, yeah. area. Sorry, I thought when you said clearing turns and we were on the south, I was in my head, I was thinking I had to go west and then south again and then north. So you can do either. You can do a 180 or 290s. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Alright, cool. So clearing turns are done. We got a reference point of a north road. Sure do. Airspeed. 
Airspeed looks good, right at 100. Okay, and then... 2400 uh, RPMs. Configuration, this is where it's going to be a little different. We're going to do mixture rich, and this is where... I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate one for you, okay. and then I'll have you do it, okay? Okay. So my flight controls? You have the controls. All right, so what we want to do here is slow flight. We need to slow this airplane down, right? But we want to stay at our altitude. So we're going to bring it right here. We're going to pull carb heat because we got to reduce power, right? Okay. Pulling carb heat. About at 2,000. We've got to maintain altitude. We're below. We're in the white arcs. We're going to start bringing our flaps. Okay, so you had carb heat throttle to 2,000, and yeah. you put in 10 We're going to go about 16, and we're going to bring flaps all the way. 16, there and flaps all the way. And we got to watch our airspeed here, so we got to bring power back. Yep, yeah, because you're reaching night. You see how we're right there at you're about right about, about about 55, yep. Yeah, and we're going to need to trim this aircraft, so it's going to take a lot of nose up. All right. Okay, yeah, you're right around the bottom of the white arc. Yep, that's it. That's right at a near stall. We're at a near stall right now. Yeah. All right. So how do I recover from this? I'm going to go max power. Push this in. Max power. Stay. I lost a little bit. Look at that. I'm supposed to stay right there. So clearing. T so right here, we're rebuilding our airspeed. Okay. And we're going to slowly retract these flaps while maintaining our heading and altitude. <laughs> there we go. Those flaps like to just dump. Like that. And now we're back. 2400. Mixture lean. Check our instruments. So I lost a little bit, but... So the goal is you actually try to keep 4,500 while you're bringing this to 1,700, flaps down, car peed on, and yep. not stalling the plane. Correct. Okay, so you're simulating almost as if you're coming into land. Yeah, that's, a, that's what a slow flight, yep. So okay. 42, let me just do a better one for you. Okay. That was my first, that was kind of doing it, getting it all referenced out. Sure. So here we're at north heading. you got to maintain your heading as well. So we're at 42, we're pulling this, car peed. We're going to about right here. We're in the white arc. Bringing our flaps up. Can you put them all in at once like that? Okay. Yeah, it goes nice and slow like this. We're staying right at 42. See how it bubbles us like that? Now we got to add just a little bit of power. About 21. We're staying right at 42. Yep, you're right on north. We're giving ourselves a little bit of nose up trim. And it's going to take just to stay here. Just to stay here. It takes about 2200 RPM is how I'm feeling it. Okay. And we're right here. And all we're going to do now... Just stay right at about, right at the bottom You're of the white arc. Right at it. And that means I'm at a near stall. That's the VSO, right? Correct. So now what I'm going to do is to recover, full power, carpet in, full power, maintain, Boop. maintain right there, and we're going to slowly reduce these flaps out. We're doing 10 increments right here, 30. 20 as we're regaining airspeed because you can't dump them all right at once because yeah. you stall. Right there. There's 10. There's 20. And then we cruise it back out. All right, so your flight control, let me get the, I have the uh, controls. Get it a little bit better for you. There you go. All right. So you're going to do it at 4,000, okay? Okay. Clearing turns are done. We have our Clearing reference point. Are done. Air speed, we're going to reduce. And carb heat. You got a thumb too. Yep. Pull the carb heat. There you go. You're in the white arc. Watch this. Oh, where do I want to stay at? 4,000? Yep. So you're pulling up. You're pulling up. Add flaps. To 17. You're going to have to add. Yep. Dump those flaps. All the way down? Yep. All okay. the way. Watch, stay right here. And you're going to have to add power quick, right? There you go. About 22. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, that feels real slow. Now you can trim yeah. it out a little bit, right? Give us a little nose up trim. So that's a little nose up. No. Nope. You can hear the stall warning horn. Yep, I could. It was starting to go off. Alright, so we're in slow flight, right? Slow flight, yep. 
So now what the goal of slow flight is, is now I'm going to have you climb and descend while turning. Uh, actually, I'll just have you climb and descend to start. Okay. You want to keep it right at this thing, right? Right so, at 50? Yep. So right at the bottom of the white arc. And what you're doing is you're going to pitch for your airspeed, right? Yeah. That's how you pitch and your power for your altitude, okay? Okay. So I want you to descend to 3,800 and I want you to level off there. So what should you do then? Reduce power. Reduce power, yep, but keep your 50 degrees of airspeed. Okay. So if you bring your power back a little bit, the plane's going to want to sink, right? Yep. Pitch airspeed, power for altitude. Yep, and then once you get at 38, I want you to level back off. So you're going to have to go back up to about 2200 RPM. So, yep, bring it back. Yep, don't go further. There you go. Very nice. Now, I'll say Cessna 18 Golf, I want you to climb up to 4,000. Yep, so you see how, yep, you got to pitch it down. Okay, so climb to 4,000. Yep, climb to 4,000. So, yep, give us some power because we're going to need it. What about the car Pete? Do I keep that on? Uh, you can push that up. Give for us now. a little more RPM. Yeah, put car pee off. Yeah. Okay. Because we're at full power. Yeah. This is when you're on the back side of the power curve. It is. You feel it though, right? Sure do. It takes a lot of power to go slow too. Yep. So you want me to climb, and I am losing airspeed. I'm just about ready to stall almost. Yep. You're almost in a power on stall right now. Okay. Yep. Because those flaps. And your power on. All right. Very difficult to climb. Yeah, it is. And it may just be because we're at full weight why we're not climbing. Does that make sense? Oh, almost stalling. Yep, so yeah. pitch. Yep, so pitch down. Yep, so we, we actually can't climb right now. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what else we're getting to, right? Yeah, so... We literally cannot climb. We cannot climb, and that's just because we're heavy. Okay. So... I understand. But otherwise, it would slowly start to rise, right? Okay. We're just basically maintaining. Yeah, that's kind of what I noticed. We're maintaining. We got 50. I got nothing else to do. Okay, so now More. I'll add to it a little bit. I want you to go... This is where they're going to make you do a turning uh, descent. Let's, let's make you go down to 3,600, and I want you on a east heading. Well, okay, 3,600 on an east heading. Yep. So what... What can we do? So you got to descend and turn at the same time. Oh, oh, got to reduce my power. Yep. A lot. Yep. Bring it about to 2,000, how about? And you want to stay right at 50. So it's very pitch power management. Yep, and you're going to turn, so you're going to do slow banks. You never turn huge while you're in slow flight. Yep. Okay. Like a five degree bank. Yep, just a nice slow roll. Yep, so if you're a little fast, just pull up a little bit, right? Yep. A little fast. What did I tell you, 3,600? Yep, so yep. not much, oh, I wouldn't go this much bang. That's, oh, that's, sorry. That's a little bit too much. Yeah. Yep, right about there. It's a, just a slow, slow. Okay. Slow. Yep, so now you're on your east heading, and you're right at about there. Pretty close. Yep, so a little yep. fast, but ain't bad though. Okay. And we reintroduce power so we don't keep descending right past it. Perfect. Alright, and now I'll just have you uh, recover us out of slow flight. Okay. Yep, so full power. Oh, 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 oh flaps up. Slowly. Oh, oh, not that fast. Whoa, I didn't, even, I didn't even mean to touch that. Sorry, it went all the way up. That's why all of a sudden, did you feel us drop? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that was not, I, it's, it's a, it goes, I said that too, it goes God, quick. Man, I just touched it. I, you got to be very, more, more yep, attention to that. Just Sorry 10, about that. Yep, 10. We can redo it. Let's redo it. All right, so my flight controls, I'll put you back in slow flight. Okay, you have the controls. All right, and I'm going to get us away from Sparta, because Sparta yep. is probably somewhere over there. So we're going to turn back. We're going to go to the west, just for, well, we'll go back south. 
Okay. And I'll put you back in slow flight, and I'll have you recover again. I did the same thing. It, it's because that lever, it just, the, the flaps just go. Yes. And I think the, a better way to approach that is to do increments, 10. Gain some more airspeed. For Ten. sure. Gain some more airspeed. All right, so we'll be right here. Clearing turns, reference point, airspeed, and configuration is flaps are going to be dirty, and we are mixture rich. So we're bringing it right about here. We're in the white arc. We're going to start adding flaps. Right there, and we're going to reintroduce power. Slow flight, your your flight controls? I have controls. And I want you to get us out. So full thing, full power, car heat off. Alright, we're maintaining altitude and slowly do one notch. Yep, stop. Maintain the altitude. Well, stop, stop, stop with the flaps. Let's gain some more. Let's get about to here. Alright, another ten. Yep, you see how that feels a lot better? Yes. Yep, absolutely. And then the last 10. Okay. And Got now, it. yep, and now we're cruised out, so now we'll go to 2400 and mix your lean. And you didn't lose any altitude there. Perfect. I like it. Alright, so the next one that I want to do is power off stall. So let me get us back. Actually, bring us up to bring us up to 3,500. 3,500. Yep. Okay. Easy traffic. Eight pop a pop overhead. Uh, turn it down. Wind for one four. Because we have to be at least. Let's just figure a thousand plus fifteen. We gotta be at least twenty five hundred. So thirty five hundred, we're a thousand above, which is just for safety. Sure. Or actually, I'll have you go up to thirty seven because in a power off stall, you actually have to show that you're in a descent. It, it's simulating that you're okay. stalling coming into land. Okay. It's pretty nice out today. It is. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I'm sure. Well, where are we? We're by, we're by Coopersville. I bet your uh, your your kids are you know pretty I, close. Yeah, we're they're just a little bit south of. They're right around kind of where we turned right down there. I think. When we come back, we can do a flyby by them. That'd be fun. Let's do it. Basically, get it's very near Grand Ra Grand Valley's campus. That can be our. Okay. Yep. All right. We are leveling off at 3,700. Okay. So Pulling give me give me your your crack acronym. All right. Oh, you want me to do that part? Okay. Yep. So clearing turns. Yep. Which do we do it again? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Always start. Yep. Always do clearing turns. Clearing turns. Because we're at a new altitude, right? So we we may see planes now that we we didn't see before. Yep. Yeah. Anytime you switch to new altitude, you should always do clearing turns. All right. Seven hundred still. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Reference. Reference. You just use like a road. Sure. Right here use to the left. Yeah. Use a road. Instrument. Yep. Okay. Uh, what was the A? Airspeed. Airspeed. Hundred. 
Uh, so this is where I'll, I'll, I'll take it from here. Okay. All right, my flight controls. You have the controls. All right, airspeed. We're going to try to get this thing to to stall. So what we're going to do is what, ta what, what airspeed do we usually, you know, on final, what airspeed are we at? Uh, about 65 to 70. Yeah. So we'll do a we'll do a stabilized descent at how about 65. All right. Okay. And we're going to be in configuration dirty. They call that. So we're going to do mixture still rich. Carb heat will be on. And we're going to make sure that our flaps are in the dirty configuration. Okay. okay. So right here we're pulling carb heat. Airspeed, we're gonna get, we're in the white arc. We're gonna go all the way flaps 40. All right, and we're gonna do a, we're at 37. You're trying to hold this 37, right? Yep, and we're gonna do, right here at about 1500 RPM, we're gonna do a stabilized descent at about 60, 65. This feels about right, okay? Okay. We're gonna level off at 3500, okay? All right. So we showed we're in a stabilized descent. Now we're gonna go power idle at 35 and we're just slowly pitching this nose up right hear this yeah yep. we're keeping the ball centered right like this slowly 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 it's going to want to go all of a sudden feel it yeah, it's right about there there it goes nose down wings level max power and we're catching... That was a nice stall. Yep, 30, right here. So you push the carpet in, full power, flaps up 10 to, yep. to 30. To okay. 20. To 20, okay. Yep. And we, you want to catch uh, 73, which is right about right here. Positive rate, once we're at 73, positive rate. Now we can go flaps clean. Right about there. And then we'll work our way back up wow. 3,500. You did a really good job on that. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. It, it, but see, nothing has to happen fast. It's not a yank, you know? Yeah. And that, that's where you're going to get an abrupt spin when you start yanking like that. So we'll go We'll go back up to... Let's, uh, let's head back to the north. But yeah, one thing you want to do is it's... Wings down, or sorry, nose down, wings level, and max power. Okay. Those are the three things that you need to do. And then after that, you know, because this is max power, both carb heat and throttle. Yes. So nose down, wings are level, max power, and then you're trying to catch 73 on the airspeed, and you're bringing flaps to 20. So there's a lot going on right yeah. there. Okay. But you'll be fine. But if, if you're sitting right there at the stall like that, make sure you know you're you're, you're kind of on the rudders like that, making sure we're coordinated, because eventually one of your wings is going to want to drop like that, right? Mm -hmm. And you push against the other way. So if your left wing starts to drop, you would do a right rudder. Uh, you would, but you, you, you ideally you don't want the wing to drop that much at all. You okay. want it to stall straight down. Got it. You don't want to spin. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> That's what you had to do for your CFI. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So, okay. let's see, right here we're at 37 again, right? Yep. And I'll let you do it, your flight controls. I have we'll controls. Get you back here, mixture's rich. Mixture's rich. We're right. at 37. Yep, clearing turns. I'm going to pull the carb heat. Yep, so airspeed, so clearing turns, reference point is straight, we got the lake. Clearing, yep, okay. Clearing turns, got the lake, airspeed to... Yep, so slow it down so we're in the white arc, carb heat. RP out, okay. There you go. All right. And bring it to about 15. All right. And bring your flaps yeah. to full. Flaps to full. And we're going to do a descent to 3,500 at about 60, 65 on the airspeed, right? Right there, yep. And just stabilize descent. Yep. And it feels like we're coming into land, right? Yes, it does. I'm right at about 60. That's perfect. And once we get to 3,500, we're going to pull the power to idle, and we're going to slowly pitch okay. up. Because this is something you would never do when you're, you know, flying low to the ground. That's right. That's why we're doing this. Okay. We're almost at 3,500. There you go. All right. 
to pull it all the way back? Yeah, pull it all the way back. Okay. And you're going to slowly just stay right here. Feel that? Yeah. Yep. Nose down, so wings level, max power. Keep pulling it back just a little bit. It's going to want to go pretty soon, very soon. Feel that? Yeah, yep. you need a little right rudder. Come on. Yep, right. There it went. Nose down, wings level. Nose down, wings level. Oh. <laughs> you got to get that airspeed, right? Yeah. Did I do that too quickly? Uh, I would say you didn't do enough nose down. It's not okay. just a jerk down. It's a actual, it's, it's nose down. Okay. Wings level, max power, and perfect. You're at 20. And then climb us back up to 3,700. You see how that feels? It feels right there. You yep. can feel like you're dancing Boy. right on the edge. Yes. You know? Yep, for sure. All right, I'll bring us back up to, what, no, what, just 3,500 or 3,700? Let's go 37 so we can do that stabilized descent again. Okay. Very good practice. Yep. Perfect. But you see how that feels, because now what, 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 what they're trying to teach there is like, hey, yeah, you're I, on your I, I recognize that I'm at a near stall. I need to either go around or pitch the nose down if you know I'm too high. But if I'm low to the ground, I need to go around. Right. You know, I got to get that nose down yet. You can't. Oh, you know, that's what a lot of people do is they see the ground. They're like, oh no, I got to pull up. You know, type deal. Are you looking for that traffic over there? Um, actually, I was just seeing if my where we were. But yeah, I see it now. Yep. Yep. So do you, see ski again. do you see what this gray area is? Do you know what that is? Uh, is that like the uh, radius around Muskegon? Uh, yeah, do you know what it is? It's a TERSA. What is it? A TERSA, they call it. It's a terminal radar service area. Oh, okay. And it's optional radar if you want it. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Okay, I saw that before on the checklist, or on the, in there. I wasn't sure what that meant. So that means, like, if you want, you know, like, if we wanted him to be looking out for us, we could just call him up and say, hey, you know, we're in the area. Can you, you know, keep an eye out for us? And they would keep, you know, separation for us. Okay. Separation services. It comes in Muskegon very... Muskegon Wood. Yep. All right. Yep. Because that's they have that terminal radar area. All right. All right. So we're at 37. Clearing turns are done. Yep. We got Clearing a reference point. Done. We have a reference point. Airspeed's around 90. Okay. And configuration. And configuration is going to be dirty. Yep. So... Mixture's still rich. Mixture is rich. Car heat on. Yep. Yep, bring it back. And we're going to try bringing it yep, to a stabilized descent at 60, 65, somewhere in there. There you go. We're in the white arc. So you can start adding the flaps. All the way. Yep. Bring, bring RPM to about 15. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, watch your airspeed and stabilize the scent right here at 60. All right, there's 35. 35. All right, and then okay. power to idle. Or to idle. Yeah. And we're slowly going to pitch up, right? we yeah. got to stay at 35 about. There you go. Nice and slow. Pitch it up a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yep, there it wants to go. Oh. Uh -oh. Is it lost? There you go. Nose down, wings level, max power. See how that felt? Yeah. Yep, oh. and flaps are coming to 20. Watch your airspeed, watch your airspeed. Yep, 73 is what you're trying to catch. Because that's your VX. Got it. Yep, or VY. Let me see.
Yeah, 65. Yeah, you're trying to catch about 65 then. 65, 70, somewhere right in there. Climb back up. Yep. Oh, man, that was good. Good. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Just uncomfortable for a minute, you know? Oh, I know. I Trust me, man. I remember being a student pilot. Yeah. And I, you know, I would never, uh, you know, and I would never say, like, hey, man, you know, when you're soloing straight, you know, fresh solo, you know, you've been on one flight, like, hey, man, go up and do power on and power off stalls. I wouldn't recommend that, you know? Right. But with me, like, I mean, that was really good for your first time, you know? Everyone gets a little nervous their first time and a couple times doing power on power offs and stuff, yeah. you know? Just because it's something you're unfamiliar and you know that it's a bad feeling. That's, yeah. what, that's what they're trying to reinforce. You know that you're going to stall. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's great. Makes you better at landing, I'm sure. It does. Yep. It really helps you to focus in on that airspeed indicator. Yes. Yep. And that, especially the base to final turn, that's, oh, yeah. that's notorious. All right. So once we're at, this is good, 3,500. Okay, let's uh, level off here. And we'll do a clearing turns, you know, the 180 back to the south. Okay. This one is gonna, I'm just gonna let you know, just so you're aware, the power on feels like very nose up, okay? It's much more than the power off stall because you're adding power, so it's gonna be a much more nose up horizon. Okay. All, All right. right, back south, clearing turns. Reference point, Reference north point. or south, sorry. Yep, we got the road. Yeah. Airspeed, so this is where you're gonna want to, we're gonna be in the clean configuration. Okay. So flaps are going to stay up. All right. Power on is simulating a takeoff stall. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to bring it. Let's see. Our our VSO, our stall speed VS1 is. What is it? Let's see. Where's our V speeds right here? Should be. The VS1, the bottom of the green arc. Yes. That's about 55. Okay. It's hard to see. It's. BS, yeah, about 55, you're right. All right, cool. So 55, so we're gonna bring it to about, I don't know, 65, 60, somewhere in there, just so that it, we're, we're slowing down prior to then. Okay. And then we're gonna pitch up, and it should stall at about 55. Okay. All right, so my flight controls? You have controls. All right, so we're on our south heading. We're gonna slow it down, pull the car beat. Stay right at 3,500. Alright, so we're right about there, right? You're right around 70, yep. yep so we're going to go power back in, 2,200. And we're going to pitch it up, alright? You're at 40. Yeah. Right there it went. It just went, yep, so nose down, wings level, max power. Sometimes they're more abrupt, but I could feel that, the, it, did you feel the shutter? Yes. Once you feel the shutter like that, that's when you know nose down, wings level, max power. We've regained our airspeed, and you really don't lose altitude on this one. Okay. And then you'd go, you know, check your instruments, mixture, lean, 2400 RPM. So I'll let you do one now. Okay. I'm just going to let you, did you feel how it's much more nose up? Yes, for sure. Just rocketing up to the moon. Yep. All right, so um, remind me again, we're slowing it down. Yep. So we got clear turns, reference point, airspeed, we're slowing down to about 60, 65. All right. I'm at about 3,500. All right, remember we got a car RPR. Car RPR. Sorry, uh, my bad. All right. 
Our lead on. Yep. And then we're going to actually push them both in once we go to 2200 RPM, once we're at about 60, 65. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I got to slow us down a little bit. Yep. Yep, and we're just trying to make it so it's not so abrupt. There's about way. 70. Okay, so, yeah. I would go carpet in, power 2200 about. Carpet in. Start pitching up. Yep, right on that south heading. Yeah, not too much, right about there, yep. Is that enough power? Yeah. All right. Feel that. A little bit of right rudder. Right there, went. Yep, nose down, wing level, max power. Zealand traffic, Skyline 402, Fox Trot Uniform, nine and a half miles due south inbound. Is that okay? Uh, what is the yeah. active, if there's anybody there, what is the active airport uh, runway That's we're using us. today? It's catching us. There you go. All right, and recover. Yep. You see how that feels, though? It's a, it's a little, <laughs> yep. It's right there, and then it just, of course, it, because of this plane, because of all the right turning ten, or left turning tendencies, that's why it wants to roll yeah. that way. If you're at a high power RPM, you know, with low air speed, and it just wants to whoop. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Cool. So we did a couple of those. We did a couple of power offs. We did slow flight and steep turns. How about, we're about, let's see. We're about an hour. Uh, we're, well, we're probably 1.1, 1.2 right now. You want to head back and go do some traffic pattern? Love it. All right. So, ch -ch -ch -ch. direct two. About like that. Okay. So, get on. Let's see. About a heading. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe like a 1.2.0. Okay. I'm showing we're about 16 miles out, so we could check the checklist, do a descent checklist. Okay. Yep, this is pretty straight right here. We're actually lined up for a straight in. I don't want to teach you to do well. Yeah. I don't want to teach you to do a straight in because that's more for... I'm not going to have you do that. Are we just leveling out right here? Or are we actually... Yeah, I want you to stay right here. Okay. And then we're going to do a descent checklist because I want to show you how you do one. Descent. There we go. Great. All right. Okay. Descent checklist. Mixtures rich. Good. Yep. Mixtures rich. Cool. Power as required. Power as required. Car repeat as required. Which, yeah, you're good. We don't put the instruments check. Okay. Bending a little bit. It's fine. You're Everything good. looks good. Looks good. A to A walk obtain an altimeter set. Okay, so that's where you would get your altimeter setting from an AWAS if they had one. Okay. Uh, they would just tell me the. It would tell you the winds at the airport, it would tell you the sky yep. condition, temperature, dew point, altimeter setting, stuff like that. Um, once we start doing some, you know, cross countries and stuff, we'll go to airports that have that, you know. Okay. We'll start doing stuff like that. Okay. So, what I would want you to do here is, we're going to be on 1-4 again, right? Yeah. So, the best way to enter this is to do that teardrop entry into the left downwind. Yep. So, in order to avoid these towers, I'm going to actually have you swing out. Okay. And we're gonna get we're gonna head about south. We're gonna I'm sorry, say that again? We're gonna head south. Okay. Because Riverview, if you look right there, you see the lake right there? Yeah. That's Riverview. Okay. And I just want to make sure that we're coming in, we're gonna cut in at a really nice crisp angle. Sure. Um, and then you fly over the pattern and do that teardrop back in, right? Yep. Alright. Yep. So if you look here, if we were using runway 32, we would just enter the left downwind, right? It would be a left downwind, it would be super easy. Yep. We'd just Correct. And one, sure. Yep. And one thing you want to do here is... Something for a descent checklist. Just go back up to 3,500. And pattern altitude is what? 1,600. Okay. 
So, and when we do the, it's a little different because we're going across, we're doing the teardrop, so you want to be at least 500 above. At least 500 above, right? So, we're trying to get to what altitude? At least 2100. At least 2100. So, we have about, what would you say, 1400 feet that we need to lose? Yep. So, I usually figure, if you're going to do a 500 feet per minute descent, it's usually about three miles for every thousand feet. So, we have roughly 1500 feet that we want to lose. Okay. So... Let's see what that would be. It would be, for a thousand feet, it would be three, plus another 500, so let's figure two. So five miles out, and, and, then, Zealand, and then you always uh, add three at the end, just Ottawa for safety. Executive, uh, Skyline, two Fox, right uniform. So you always can, uh, it's always, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, but it's always, you know, three That's miles good. for every thousand feet, and then you always add plus three miles, and that way you're always to your, uh, correct altitude three miles before you want to be. Just so, for fudge factor. Okay, so you're at 3,500. We're at 3,500. We want to get to at least 21, which is means 1,400. Yep. And at least one. So at least four to five mi yeah, so miles. Yeah. So plus three miles. Yeah. So let's say, let's say we were 2,000 feet above where we wanted to be right now, right? Yep. Three miles for every thousand, so six feet or six six miles, right? Okay. And then you always add three, so at nine miles we would actually start our descent. Oh, okay. So that's that how helps explain it. Because you don't want to get to the airport and you're three thousand feet too high, and you also don't want to be at traffic pattern altitude for too long. Yeah, direct two, yeah. Just so I can see what your distance, twelve nautical miles, if we headed there directly. Okay, I understand. Yep. So we we said we were going to descend what about eight. And uh, Zealand traffic, Skyline 2 Fox uniform, left base, 2 zero, Zealand. Yep, so they're also on our frequency. Okay. But we can start, once we get over here, we can we can cut it a little close. We can do a 150 heading. Oh, 150 heading, okay. Yep. I just don't want to get too, we, hey, we can actually go by the greenhouses, right? That's what yeah. we wanted to do? Yeah. <laughs> That'll work perfect. So we are actually coming up really, there they are, right there. Zealand traffic. You see the big white Hill building? Hill yep, final. that's the greenhouse Zealand. with all the cars in there. <laughs> uh, we can actually, you want to descend right now and go over it? We can. You want to? Let's do it. Descend, uh, go down to 2,100, right to where we want to be. 2,100. Is that it right there? Yeah, because I see the no red way. sign. Yep. <laughs> it's cool too, because I worked there. So if, he, if he's like, "Hey, we got people buzzing the tower," well, <laughs> I worked there. Uh, it's too funny. Awesome. Yeah, we're still staying well clear. You got to stay 500 feet above yeah. any type of obstacle. So we're well above that 2100. Your wife is probably shopping right underneath there. Yep. <laughs> right there. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, buying up all the hostas. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I never would have pointed, picked that out. Wow. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a big greenhouse. Oh, it's huge. I've got some planting to do this afternoon when I get home. There you go. Perfect it's day for a little. It's a little cloudier. Honestly, it, that's not bad, though. Yeah. If you're going to be working. Absolutely. All right, so we, we're about 11 right now. When we're at 10, we'll just make a call that we're 10 miles to the west. Going to be, you know, coming in for landing 1-4. Do a little wing wave? Yeah. <laughs> a little wing wave. So it would just be um, Riverview Cessna 1-8 Golf, 10 miles to the west. Inbound for 1-4. In inbound for 1-4. Yep. Okay. Should I do that now? Sure. And I got the towers in sight, so we're good. Right. Riverview Cessna 1-8 Golf, 10 miles west, inbound for runway 1-4, Riverview. Nice call. I struggled that call, and I said, you got it. I, that's about the only ones I can, as we're doing pattern work, it's a little more complicated. I, 
All right, we're coming down on 2200. Perfect. We're going right over this bad yeah, boy. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There it is. There it is, right there. Yep, and we'll go just a little bit farther south because I got those towers right there. And once we're clear of those towers, then we can start. Ottawa well, executive traffic out back the three Sierra Delta. The second pipelines will be uh, right now one mile south of the airfield, and we'll be in the vicinity. We'll make reports if we get any closer for Ottawa executive. Yep. So Ottawa executive, he's actually pretty close. He's just a little bit south of here. He's somewhere over there. Yep. Okay. They try to put like like you know frequencies close together that way. Yeah, you kind of know what's sense. going on in the area. I think uh, Sparta is one two two point eight. But okay. Yep. Just for because I'm sure you'll I'll show you to Sparta and stuff. That's a nice nice cross. You know, just a little bit. It's like sure. thirteen miles. It's super short. It's a nice you know place to go do a little bit of traffic pattern. Yeah. Yep. That will be fun to get into all that stuff. Yeah, you're flying the plane great, man. Thank you. Feeling more comfortable. Feeling yeah. good, feeling good. That's good. Every little bit adds up. Yeah. All right. So we made our 10-mile call. We'll make a 5-mile call. Okay. That we're 5 to the west. And this is where you could say that we're going to be doing a right teardrop, left downwind, 1-4. Riverview Cessna, 1-8 Golf, 5 miles west. Yep. Entering. Wait. Not entering, but no, that just that you're planning to do. Miles west, teardrop. Right teardrop right to the left downwind. Right teardrop to the left downwind, runway 14. Yep. All right, now you notice towers easily, but I didn't see them right away. Okay, I'm... Oh, you see them right there? Yeah, and I would I would put your map view right on. Thank you, yeah. And I'd put I, it right on VFR sectional. And there I am right there. Yep, there's the towers. Those. Yep, right there. Beautiful. Okay. Cool, yeah, so you can start, you know, slowly bowing out, because I, I got the lakes in sight where the river view is. Wow, it's amazing you can see so far. Oh, it's unrestricted visibility. today. I mean, it's crazy. You watch, you see that shoreline, I mean, you can almost yeah. see Chicago on the other side. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They don't get much better than this. No. You can see Grand Rapids clear as day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's looking good. And your GPS is working. Like, look at that. Look how close your oh. GPS is. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it is right on. Right on. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It's amazing. We'll get into VOR stuff during oh. our training. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. Yep. That is the two from. Right when I think I get it, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it. And then I do it. No. Oh, oh they're, they, well, they God. purposely make them so oh. confusing on there. Some I, of them are just like very simple. Okay, I, I get that. This is the two. Yep. But, but some of them are tricky. Yes. Yep, so you're just waiting for that five mile call, yep. about one mile out. Then how far do we extend that uh, teardrop? Two miles? Two miles, yep. One more time for me, I'm sorry. Riverview Cessna 18 Golf, five, five miles. miles to the west. We're gonna do right teardrop, left downwind, right one four. Teardrop, left downwind. Okay. You got runway in sight? 
What's that? You got runway in sight? Oh, yeah. Yep. Riverview Cessna 18 Golf, five miles to the west, right teardrop for left downwind runway 14 Riverview. Boom. Oh, that feels good, I bet. There's no way. I, could, I flew for a month before I could do that. I don't know why I could get it. Oh, that's great. You got really, really good comps. Oh, okay, we're going to go right over my house again on the way. I like doing these right teardrops because then I get for 1-4 because I go right over our house. Yeah. yeah. So do you see the water tower? Yep. In the neighborhood just beyond it, we will literally go right over my house. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yep. Sorry, I just like looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the towers right there. Yep. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Oh. And it's good you get an area familiarization, you know, yes. of what it looks like from the air. Where these towers are to your house. Where Wait, our, our runway is very unique here at Riverview. It is. You got the lakes and the tr I mean, it's not just... It's not your standard runway. Like you said out in Sparta or whatever. No, yeah. So we are at 2,100. Perfect. And we just, again, this is only Riverview, but you got to be careful of this uh, Charlie. So that's why as soon as... Yes. Usually, usually you keep at 2,100. We would keep there yep. for two miles. But once we get past the, the airport, we're going to have to descend so we don't get in that class Charlie. Descend below 2,000, right? We're going to have to go to about 18 or something because okay. the, the shelf is 2,000. Okay. This is very unique to Riverview. Otherwise, you don't do that. There's Eagles, uh, there's their football stadium. Oh, yeah, Hudsonville. Yep. And there's my house right there. I can see it. Oh, yeah. Okay, see the cul-de-sac right here? Yeah, you're at the end, right? Um, all the way that way. Very okay. last one. So I'm the first one on the left when you pull into that cul-de-sac there. Pretty cool. You. I mean, you are right here. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So I got to go up just a tad. I don't That's like being this much, but... Yep. You can make a three-mile call. Riverview Cessna 18 Golf, three miles to the west, right teardrop for left downwind runway 14 Riverview. Riverview traffic oh, cirrus 103 Echo Romeo overhead to join left traffic runway 14. I got him inside. Oh, where? I didn't even hear him. He's in the left downwind. Oh, right now? We got that cirrus in sight, 18 Golf. Uh, we're going to be doing the right teardrop, left downwind, we'll follow you. Thank you. Looking for you also. Right there. See him moving? Nope. Right. He's making a turn right now for oh, gosh, yes. Yep. Wow. So much smaller than I thought. Oh, okay. yeah. Yep. That's a Cirrus. That's a fast plane. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I think I've seen that one here before. Could be. Yeah. But see, that's why we're making radio calls at 5, So he's 3. coming in to land. Yep. He's turning on base right now. Yep. And we're going to be doing a right teardrop and following him in. Pretty cool. Yeah, he's cruising. Riverview traffic 103 Echo Romeo, left base, runway 14. Riverview. Yep, he's on the left base. All right, so watch our altitude. Oh, too high? Yep. Bring us back down to 21. You can say you're over, I'll make the call for you. Oh, okay, thank you. Superview traffic, Cessna 1 8 golf. We're over over midfield. We're going to be doing right teardrop, left downwind, 1 4. We still got traffic in sight, Riverview. Yeah. Coming into final. Amazing. Wow. Um, yep, so drop us down right now. We're going to start heading down, head to 18, 17, 18. There he is. We can right over. Yeah, we can do a before landing check even right now. How about before we get busy? Right now? Yeah, let's do it right now as we're descending. Pre-landing. Belt harness is on. Good. Landing light on. Good. Mixture on. Rich. Rich, sorry. Yep. Uh, carb heat on. Yeah, pull it on. All right. Air speed 65 to 75. We are fast. No, that's fine for Not right yet. now. Yeah. All right. So just crossed over. Yep, and we're going to go two miles, so once we're at... And then we go this way, right? Yep, right right turn to the left downwind. At 1,800. Perfect, that's good. Yep, keep us right here. Well, wait, wait, we want to be two miles, right? Oh, God, yes. Yep, yes. we'll just, we'll just hold, yep, we'll hold. So give okay. us a little bit of RPM, maybe, I guess, just so we maintain this altitude. Yep. 
see, but this is so unique because usually you'd stay right at 2100 and then descend in the turn. That's yeah. usually what you do, but we can't do that because we have that, yeah. that shelf. Yep. Roof for you, traffic 103 Echo Romeo is clear of the runway. Alright, coming up on two miles. Alright. And the, the main purpose of doing this is so you're just clearing the area, you're getting out of the way for other airplanes and you're entering in a proper traffic yep. pattern. That's okay. why you're doing it. Because if you, if you didn't go two miles out, no. turn. Yeah. If okay. you didn't go two miles out, you'd be right in the middle of a downwind. You know? Yep. Okay. Are we trying to keep 1,800? Yes. All right. And this is this oh. is where you would actually start your descent. So you can start your descent to 1,600 because that's traffic pattern altitude, right? Yep. So usually that's where you do it. There's a jet right there coming in. Right in the white clouds right there. Yep. I don't know. You have a eye sight. You can see all those now. I, you just get used to it. You just you get scanning. All right, and here's Finnick Lake. So even though we can't see the airport, we know we're close, right? So let's we're coming back in. It's just a nice shallow, and then here's uh, not Finnick Lake. Fantasy. Fantasy Lake. Is it this one here? Yep. Yeah. All right, so I want to turn right, correct? Yeah, but watch that altitude, oh, yeah. right? Okay, 1600. Yep. There you go, and now just let them know we're in the left downwind for 1-4. Riverview Cessna 1-8 Golf on the left downwind for runway 1-4. Riverview. Perfect. Yeah, and now we're right aligned and we were we were we halfway through our before landing check? Or did we do the full thing? I don't um, sorry. Too much. Um we got the pre landing to flaps as required is where we're at. Okay, perfect. So once we're beam, that's when we're gonna pull our power right to yep. to seventeen hundred. Almost. Yep. All right, right now. Yep, 1700 RPM. So we're doing first notch of flaps to 10 degrees. Two, three. Yep, and they're indicating and we can see them out. Always want to just check visually that they're out. And now maybe like two clicks of up trim and we're pitching for about 80. 80, 85, somewhere in there. Okay. We're right at about 75. Yep, so maybe a little bit more power yep. and a little bit it's just kind of a feel. Yep. And then once we, we don't want to get it tight, we want to keep this yep. nice and straight. Okay. Yep. So we're a little slow, right? Give us some power. We got to be around 75? Yeah. 75, 80. There you go. All right, let's turn base. Make a call? Yep. Or after you turn? Uh, after you turn. All right. There you go. We don't need to climb though. That's why we're that's why our airspeed's so low. There we go. Yep. These power lines are a good base for you, you know? It's good good reference, right? Yeah. Now flaps go to twenty in the base. You can make your call that we're for Riverview Cessna one eight golf on left base to runway one four Riverview. Alright. And we're clearing final. And All right. We're slowly going to start this this turn, make that turn with rudder and aileron towards final. And you can add in the last degree of flaps to 30. We don't need to go to 40 because it's crazy, crazy. Okay. Uh, yep. And carpet's on. Good. And now we're just going to get that descent at about 65, right? Yep. So you can pull your power back. We're, we feel high, right? Yeah, we do. Yep. Pull it back just a little bit, and you watch. There you go. Okay. And you're aligned right with it. You might even need a little bit of power yet. Just, yep, right about there. That looks like a nice glide slope coming down, right? Yep.
because as soon as we pull that power back, it's going to sink. Yep, and you can feel we're crabbing a little bit. There's a little bit of a wind. So we can even dip our aileron into the wind, right? And opposite rudder. That's how you can kind of maintain center line like that. You see how that feels? Mm-hmm. Yep, so now you bring your power even back just a little bit more. We in uh, Ottawa Executive Airport. A little bit more. We know we're going to make the runway, so we can go power idle. Okay. There you go. This will be a full stop. There's a guy fishing. All right, here we are. We're at 60, wings level, and slowly bring it up. And it'll just set down, right? Oh. There you go. All right, cool. And then we'll just hit our brakes, and we'll back taxi, and we'll go do one more. All right? Okay. So yeah, pull the, pull the yoke up. We're just gonna stop straight ahead. Sorry, my hit your feet. No, you're good. Let's just we'll break it. Oh, we can break hard. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Oh, the sure. Yep. And then we'll just go turn right back around. Yep. Make a call that we're gonna do a back taxi. Okay. Riverview Cessna one eight Golf. We're gonna back taxi to runway one four. Riverview. Bye bye. Okay. Yep. And you just gotta stop on one side now and. Make it a nice sharp turn like that. Nice. Okay, we're in a back taxi down. Perfect. And we'll worry about cleaning all this stuff up back over there. Okay. Because I don't want you to do taxi in and trying to do things. Just yep. take your time. Felt pretty good. Yeah, it looked good, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. Just got to do it. Get, get used to that view. Yep, it's it's right there. You know, you're five feet above the runway. Your wings level, and you slowly just kiss that nose to the horizon. About you know, and then the back wheels touch down first, and you just keep that that back or that nose wheel off the ground. Yep. Yeah, it looked really good. That's uh, right there, that's the owner of the... I was going to say, is that Nathan? Yep. Nate? Riverview traffic, Skyline 402, Fox Uniform, just off Ottawa Executive, Zealand. For Riverview, any traffic in the air, please advise. All right, we'll tell them. Riverview traffic, Cessna 18 Golf, we're back taxi in 1-4 right now. We're going to do one more pattern uh, for 1-4 Riverview. Okay, we'll be looking for you, and we're inbound <coughs> to Fox Front Uniform. All right, we'll let you know when we're in the upwind. Appreciate it, thanks. So are we going to... With that, are we planning to do our whole pattern before they land, or? I, they're just off of Ottawa Executive, so they're yeah. a little ways out. So we we can probably at least get in the downwind before we really have to worry about that. Okay. Them. But that's nice that he does a you know a courtesy call like yeah. that that we're coming in. Yeah, that's awesome. So again, we're just gonna clear base to final. We'll go through our before takeoff checklist. Once we're aligned up on 1 4 here. I know, yeah, carb heat has definitely got to come off. But we'll, yep, don't worry about it right now. Perfect. All right. Yep, so before takeoff. And uh, Riverview traffic, Skyline 2 Fox uniform. We are four miles, uh, I guess we would be uh, south west, uh, inbound for 1 4, looking for that uh, traffic. Your rich power throttle. Okay. So I flaps her up. 
Car Pete's off. Good. Mixture, best power, power. We got lights, camera, action, right? Yep. So lights. So lights, camera. Yep. And action, 2,000 RPM. When are we uh, pulling up? About 50, 60? 50, 60, yep. And we're climbing out at 73 until we're clear of obstacles. Okay. All right. Your controls. My controls. we got to get straight here. All right. 2,000 RPM. Everything sounds good in the green. Full power. Full power. Airspeed's alive. There you go, 50, 60, start your rotate. I'm out, 73. I'll let him know. Riverview traffic, Cessna 1 8 Gulf, just departed runway 14. We're in that upwind, the Riverview. I've got you in sight, and uh, we'll pass uh, over your head here to enter the left downwind for. Uh, Runway 14. Man, you guys got a lot of water on the ground. <laughs> oh, it's high, yep. So, since we're fast, do I just climb higher, slow that airspeed down to yeah, 75? 73, yeah, because that's, that's your best pitch, right? There you go, oh. we're over there, so now we can do our cruise climb of 80 to 85. And you're just going to extend this out till you're what? What altitude? 1600? About 1300. Yep. Nice work. River view traffic, uh, Skyline 2, Fox Uniform, uh, left downwind, 1 4, River view. Yeah, he's in the downwind. He's already over here? Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, we're approaching 1-3, 1,300. All right, so make your turn. If he was a little bit, you know, like he's just, you know, if he was a little bit later, we would extend our up point for him, yeah. you know, give him some time. But he's plenty ahead of us. Okay. You can let him know that you're turning crosswind, though, so but you can look at the runway. Make the Riverview Cessna 1-8 Golf turning left crosswind for runway 1-4, Riverview. All right, so you got the runway. Riverview traffic, Skyline 2 Fox Uniform, left base, 1-4, Riverview. All right, so you had a nice square now, 1600. Yep. Cool. So you can bring that power back a little bit. And Riverview traffic, Skyline 2 Fox Tri Uniform base to final, 1 4 Riverview. Nice. Yep. Beautiful. Turn left. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you think. There's so. my lake. There you go. Just the wings length, whatever you think you're a wings length away. 